Hey guys, we are at Home Depot right now. You we are picking up the supplies to make some uh, nunchucks for decoration. They're not for like weapons or anything for decoration. Like Halloween props. It's decoration in my room. So we're just locking up the bikes right now. So should you really be showing this on camera, dude? Yeah. Um. We'll see. All right, guys. We're here at Home Depot, and the first item you need for your nunchucks are gonna be. Or you're gonna need a handy link chain. Okay. Um. You're gonna need about four links. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and then cut off the last end, and that'll be for one nunchuck. Okay. Oh. So then you could go one, two, three, four, cut. How many making we? One, two, three, four, cut. One, two, three, four, cut. Because we're making three. Okay, so I found all my materials that I needed. Um, what you're going to need is measuring tape. Okay. You're going to need a saw, some kind of marker, like a Sharpie would be best. Um, I think that's about all the tools you need. Uh, I'll tell you later if there are other tools you need. But for now, all we're going to do is we're just going to mark this. And what I just found out that I had no idea is that this table actually has a measuring thing built into it. So I'm just going to use that because it'll hold the dowel rod better. We're going to cut them in segments of 9 inches long. And as he said, you're going to have about 2 inches. Almost. Three. Mm -hmm. It's about, yeah. Almost three inches. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much three inches. Okay. So we have it marked. Now we're going to get our saw. And we're going to take it over to the vise. Um, and we're going to use something soft to hold it in because we don't want to get marks into our, uh, marks in this, into our dowel rod. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a glove to actually soften it. Basically, okay, so you can use a towel or Don't you need two gloves? No. Watch. You get the glove. Okay. It's really dirty, but you get the glove. Okay. You grab onto it as if you're as if you were holding the dowel rod. Okay. Life hacks with Chandler. <laughs> So also, if you're not going to use a belt sander, uh, I mean, if you are using a belt sander, then you don't need to worry about having them match. Just get uh, the ones that are closest to matching, close together. So these two and these two are pretty close. So those will be a set, okay? Those will be a set and those will be a set. So all you got to do is basically turn on the belt sander and sand it down, okay, to the, so that they're both the same level, and that'll, that'll basically... Hard work for. Hey guys, <laughs> so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the belt sander. Now, when you're doing this, you want to be careful. And uh, normally, some some of them will be built into the table. Mine's not, so I flipped it around. I'm gonna try to be very careful with this because you can hurt yourself. Um, I'm gonna basically use it like this, and then I'll hold these on top. Um, but what I found out is that you gotta tape these together while doing this if you're using a belt sander. If you're using a normal uh, sandpaper, you probably won't need to do this, but, you know. Sandpaper would have been quicker. We would have done right now. You don't need to use it for very long. As you can tell, they're already pretty much the same. It so. doesn't matter if they're like... It doesn't matter that much. No one's going to come over to your house and measure your nunchucks. Yeah. Be like, these are wrong. Also, be careful while doing this because some places, uh, nunchucks are illegal to make. So if you're doing this, make sure it's just for decoration only, okay? This is for decoration only. Hey guys, so what we have is we have our nunchucks. Okay, we've already sanded them. Now, don't worry if you have marks or dents on yours because that's going to get covered up with electrical tape. What you're going to need is you're going to need a friend, okay, to hold the electrical tape 
um, on here. You don't need okay. a friend, but it's helpful. Well, yeah, it works a lot better. So we're gonna stretch it out a long ways, okay? And we're gonna attach it as close to the end as we can. And what you need is you need tension, okay? You gotta stretch it. That makes uh, that makes it way better because then you can you can bend it, see like that, and you won't notice it. So I don't know how well you can see this, but right here, um, right here we have a line, okay, an indent right there in the tape. That just shows how far off the tape is from each other. So when we overlap it, so what you're gonna need to do is make sure that line stays in the middle. I'm not doing a very good job. So after we do this, it's all crisscross pattern, okay? And then you're just gonna cut it off. There. And finish it off the best you can. And there you go, that's one. That's all done. Great, now we have now, to do another one. Well, yeah, but First, um, before you do that, no, did you just turn it off? No. Okay, first before you do that, uh, you're going to get a Sharpie and color the ends. Okay, that's good enough. We can finish that later. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do the rest. Okay, for your next thing, you're going to need a drill bit. That was the other uh, tool I forgot. So you're going to need your drill with a 332 um, bit. Okay. And what you're going to need is you're going to need your friend to hold them for you while you do your best to try to get this in the middle. Now, remember, your drill bit is going to get really hot while doing this, okay, because of all the friction and stuff. That wasn't in the middle, but, you know, it's fine. It doesn't matter that much. Okay. You don't need to go super deep, but that's, uh, that's basically what we need for now. Then, what you're going to need... You're gonna need your chains, okay? And you're gonna get your eye bolts, okay? Does you need needle those pliers too to twist it? Uh -huh. Um, no, we're not gonna use needle those needle those pliers because those don't work. Obviously, you and I aren't strong enough to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, come over here. We tried that last time, last time, and my friend and I could not get it to work. So we came up with a better solution. We put it in the vise. That is smart. Doesn't it need protection. No, oh. it's metal. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay, and then all you gotta do is get a hammer and hammer it. I'm gonna use a smaller one so I can aim better. So I don't like accidentally hit something. That seems about good. Yeah. So once you get it, uh. We're supposed open to put. Th we're supposed to put that in here first. Once you get it, no. Once you get it open enough, you're gonna do that, and then just smash it. Open up your vise. You're gonna. Oh, wait. Yeah. No. Okay. I need to do something. Grab onto. Just smash it together. Come on, watch. See, see how it's like lopsided, right? It's sideways. Hit that straight. It's not going to matter at the time, but it will help. Okay, so once we do that, it's almost back in. It shouldn't be able to come out now. But to make it way better, yeah, we're going to open it. this up, and we're just going to crush it. Crush we're, it, dude. Well, not crush it, but, like, close it. That, okay. Yeah, that ain't coming out. See? Now it's all closed. Now that part's done. We get another eye bolt, and we continue the process. Okay, so I've already uh, drilled everything. The tape is on. And now I have uh, the chain with the eye bolts on them. Now all I need to do is uh, insert them into here. So that, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to put this. On my you can see. 
Okay, can you see? Uh, I hope you can see, but I'm just gonna put them in. Okay, that's all it's gonna take, and just start screwing them. Okay, it might get a little hard, and that's where you're gonna need your pliers. Okay, I'm gonna go grab. Okay, if you need to get pliers, okay, because it's gonna start getting really hard to do this, and it'll make your job a lot easier. And just tighten it all the way until it's against the wood. And if you want, you can put super glue in it and stuff, but I'm not going to do that because I already know it's not going to come out with the uh, hole that we drilled. Okay, and that's pretty much it. These are your nunchucks. After Tanner is done, uh, after Tanner is done making his and fixing it, which yeah, he can't, can't do it. he can't figure out how to do it. But once we, uh, once he does his, I'll uh, show you how to use these. Okay, now that Tanner has finally finished his, hey, which I actually had to finish for him because he couldn't do it. No. Spent, like half an hour on it. Anyways. Now I'm going to show you how to use these, okay? The normal position for holding nunchucks is like this, okay? Under your armpit. And basically, different moves you could do are like swinging it like this, okay? Or um, like that. Like What you want to kind of practice is just getting it so you can go like that under your armpit and then you can do like that and then you can do this and when you do this you don't want your hand to move that much it's not like you're going like that just like this okay I'm moving my hand kind of because I don't want to hit my hand and I've already done that a thousand times I don't want to do that right now so if you're wondering how to do something else this is this is what you got to do okay you got to swing it from under like that Ow. I just swing it hard enough Okay, and that's pretty much it. Here, we're gonna have Tanner try. Oh, great! So, can you get it under your armpit? Okay. Uh, now, can you uh, do the. Do this? So, no, you're actually. So, do like this. It's over the same arm. Look, the nunchuck is gonna go here, o over here, around this arm. And then the hand is not gonna come from behind, it's gonna come from in front. So like this. No, no, no. That so arm like is gonna this. go around. No, 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 no. This, this arm, reach in front instead. No, no, no. Not like that. You're doing it wrong, Look. Go like this. Swing it over. Okay. Now you're gonna catch it like this. Okay. You're gonna swing it over, and it's gonna hit your. It should hit your hand. Okay. Now try that. No, from the front. Fine. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now swing it the other way. There you go. You gotta get better at aiming it. Ta -da! There you go. Bye, I gotta go eat dinner. Hello. I finished making the nunchucks, and now, uh, since I have two nunchucks now, I'm gonna do a giveaway video. Um, I'm gonna show you a magic trick. You're gonna have to guess what's in my hat, okay? I'm gonna try not to show you what it is. Um, well basically, we have a bunch of water in here, okay? And we have my hat. Which has something in it, okay? Um, if you want to get the nunchucks, then put whatever, like, uh, type it up in the comments below on what you think um, is in my hat, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the water in. Oh good, I didn't mess up this time. Okay, Lynn, will you come uh, get the cup? Okay. Okay. It's in the comments below. So, no water should come out. Okay, 
and if I put it on my head and try to get my hair wet, it doesn't really get my hair wet, not really, because it all got, it all disappeared, okay? So now all you have to do is just guess what you think is in my hat. In the comments below. Thanks for watching.